Okay. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Memorial weekend is here. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. So sorry that uh, you guys are stuck here with me on this beautiful day, but uh, let's have some fun and earn our free cruise, right? So that's what it's about. So again, appreciate you guys uh, joining me. Again, it's a team effort. So again, um, thank you to all that are helping out. Um, if you guys have questions, make sure to put it to everyone in case I am reading. We want to make sure your questions are answered. Um, and again, we will help each other on the test, okay? <laughs> Which accents do you guys want today? <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, torture, okay. All right, so we want to make sure everybody, we have one more. Um, <laughs> hello, hello, welcome everybody. Um all right, so how about, do you want to do dining or white, how about white star service? That's 15 minutes. Let's see how they treat the um, fancy people, right? You want to try that? Does everybody have Cunard white star service? Make sure everybody has it. It's a 15 minute uh, one. I think I have it. Perfect. I, I do have it. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're gonna go ahead, it says, our renowned White Star Service Program offers your clients service beyond what most have experienced. Um, Wynn does not have it. Oh no, Wynn, now are you in Cunard? Oh. Make sure you guys are in Cunard. And uh, hi, Scott, welcome oh, back. Yeah. Oh, he says yes, yes. Yes, it's I actually, do, perfect, yes. okay. Good. All right. No worries. Good to be back. How right. are you feeling, Marnie? Yay. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling much better. I was just saying today, it kind of like gives me like, you know, you know, like a ghost feeling, you know, it's kind of like tingly. It's kind of like hurting, but not really. So it's like, yeah. I don't know if it's the blood circulating through because of the blood thinners or if it's still my knee. So, but I'm, I'm alive. You're home though, I'm, right? You're well, back home. You're not in the I'm hospital back home. anymore. Yep. Yeah. I'm back home. Nope. Well, you were plan. in my thoughts and prayers for sure, <laughs> young lady. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was an, an isolated incident. It was based on the injury. But what happened was after I got home from Cancun and flying and everything and having my leg, you know, stuck, um, immobilized for two weeks, you know, um, I got home, but I started having like really bad, like indigestion, not even indigestion. It's just like any thing I swallowed, whether it was hot coffee or, or milk or water, you know, it burned and it was like, something's wrong. It went on for three days. So that's when we went in. Sure enough, it did have something to do with my esophagus, but when they did the chat CT scan in the x-rays, they found blood clots. So it's a good thing I went in because I, it was a embolism. What is it? The, Linda, you know the word, with, um, but it's blood clots in my lungs. And then right. when I told the doctor that I think it was based on my knee injury, they did the ultrasound on my knee. And sure enough, I had blood clots in my knees too. Yeah. Um, in that one leg. So thank you. Hey, can I ask you a question on uh -huh. a separate item? Yep. Say, uh, so I'm just finishing up the Princess Cruise okay. thing because, of course, I missed them all. Okay. <laughs> so, I, of course, I think since uh, number five, there's no more tests. Uh, help with that okay. so on the final so that means that you weren't able to help with the final at all online were you um no we just we just went ahead and and you know we we did it of course live now you may want to look because i did um the final before okay on this certificate workshop here so some of the questions may be on this one that we did the prior year okay so that may okay. help you um, if you go down here to Princess, um, the prior year, did she, maybe she removed it, but if not, it is on my, um, on my YouTube, you can find the final exam. Um, but okay. this particular one, yes, the read, the test is not recorded, but on the prior one that we did the year before it is recorded and you can find the answers here on my YouTube channel. So here's my question. How does that work with the final? Because we didn't go through every single elective. Does it cover you know, every I mean, single elective? No. Okay. Um, I mean, it covered what we, a lot of the electives and stuff are covered in different things as it is. So we all found, knew what the answers were just by all the training we went through. Okay. So you don't have to go through each and every course. They just added that. 75, they just added 75 new cruises. Oh, cool. Yeah. I just looked the, the other day too and, 
um, the Mediterranean or, or Paris, uh, Europe, 32 days. Um, yeah, I, I looked at, I, I think my wife and I are going to do the, the nor the the Caribbean loop where it goes eastern southern western at Christmas time. Oh, nice! That'll be our. We're going to do that for Christmas. So, very nice. Yeah. Um. Now, from what I understand, guys, if anybody did the princess one prior to the one we just did, um, from my understanding, you have to do some of the electives or some of the updates, or you will lose the cruise. They said. Okay. So make sure you double check um in your training that you're up to date on it or that you haven't booked it already that's why i always tell everybody you should book that cruise you know or any of our benefits as soon as you can because you never know just like escaret escaret used to give away two free tickets hundred dollars a piece they no longer do it so always take advantage of that okay um to advance only been here no cindy you're good um, Cindy, um, again, these are just regular trainings. As long as you're already registered, you're good to go. Okay. Um, all we do is, is again, we just start reading and, um, learn about the different, you know, like in this case, we're learning about white, um, what was it? The white collar, uh, oh, white star service. And then, um, we just, uh, again, we just read and learn about it. And then, um, and then after there's a little test on each. And if you look up here in the curriculum, <laughs> we have to finish all these um, mm -hmm. to be able to get our free cruise now with Canard. Okay. So it's just kind of fun. Um, and we do it all together. Yes, exactly. Um, and again, right here. So I've been doing all the trainings on my own. First one to do a live. Welcome. Okay. So um, again, when you do it live with us, uh, we do take the test together and we all help each other with the test. Um, I do stop recording on the test because some people complain that they were cheating. So I say, okay, I'm not going to stop these classes because they're fun to do. Besides learning about our our vendors, about it's, the destination. Oh, you're cheating. You guys it's always cheating because you're already, you're, I mean, they have to go through the videos. And right. learn everything. So, I mean, a lot of them would, would just skip through the video and just go to the test. So is it just princess or do you have to stop it on all training? I've now? been doing it on all. So again, as long as you're live, you take the test with us like we just did India uh, yesterday and, and uh, we stop on the, the test. Um, but, uh, but like I said, a, a cool thing about it, like we did New Orleans, guys. And afterwards, you get invited on a, a fam trip. You get invited on lunch and learns, okay? So besides learning to help sell to your clients, you're going to get all kinds of promotional stuff too. So that's also why it's fun to do. Again, you guys can do these all on your own or you can do them with us. Again, these are some of the academies and training um, programs that you can get in and, and do all these trainings or Again, um, we just put the new calendar up for next month. We're going to be doing Arizona, Cyprus, Margaritaville at sea, um, the it, Italy, uh, CLIA, New York City, Peru, Colombia, Austria, Switzerland, RIU, and Avalon. Okay, so those are the ones for next month. So, and again, it has the link to pre-register, guys. So I always tell everybody pre-register so that way you guys have um all the you know you're already ready and in to the program okay um this is the link of all the trainings i've done here is my youtube channel and then here is the training program okay and then here is my youtube channel so again you can research um like a uh, uh, scott you can you know go up there and do a find um for princess let's see if we can find that one princess final um one year ago okay so yeah so a year ago right here so right here it is so you can um get the the answer for the final exam there okay and it's really cool because also um again when we do it together princess is one that you know 50 questions but guess what scott's gonna have totally different questions like 10 different other yeah. questions and then he's gonna have the same thing so um that's also why it's nice when we do it together because it's like okay let's do this first okay now you know black um how do you pronounce that blackness blackness sorry um or gene um 
but you say, okay, you know, Jennifer, what's your question now? So that way we make sure everybody passes. So again, it's kind of fun to do together. Um, no worries, no worries, Brandy. And again, okay, perfect. Thank you. Unique name, just like Marnie, right? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, right now, if you haven't done the first part of um of Canard, um you can still join us today. But I'm just so not training training so I can get a free cruise. <laughs> just so you see here, Canard Cruise Part One. You okay, so you can catch up with us. Okay, you're you're just starting, and we so are all through to you. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and let's get going. So today, yep, just did it. Perfect. All right. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And we are doing the, um, and again, here's the curriculum. Okay. So if you do it on your own, just make sure you follow the curriculum. So we're going to do white star service. Okay. So click start. Nice. And then we're going to get started. And again, they're doing some work in my backyard, so hopefully my dog won't bark too much. But um, I'm, I'm the same. All right, the so, <laughs> so I'm doing Richard because I I already did my training. Now, also just so you guys know, um, Canard is very picky, okay, um, or glitchy, I should say. So when you finish the course, the class, okay, or test, take a picture. Sometimes it doesn't register, okay? So you have to, you know, it's like last week I had to redo mine again because I, I clicked out of it before I took the picture. Um, so just remember that um, it may be a little glitchy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, go ahead and, you know, ask in the chats if you have any questions to do it to everyone. Um, if anybody wants to volunteer to help read later on, let me know, I'll get started. And um and again, amazing perks that we get, guys. Free cruise, and you automatically get upgraded to elite status. Free laundry, uh, captain's lounge every night. Um, check in, check out. Um, first, you know, on board, first out. So again, uh, lots of princess? great, great upgrades. Okay. Is that the same with princess? Yes, pr that, yeah, princess is the one that I, I did. I went and um automatically elite. And I'm sitting there at a table with somebody that spent $6,000 on that cruise and has been on three or four like that, still not in elite status. And here I am, I paid 220 and I'm an elite. So needless to say, I did, I just said, I'm a travel agent. I didn't say that, you know, I got this upgrade by just doing one training, you know, but um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, did my laundry. Cause I, I travel with a backpack. I usually fly spirit with penny fares and I travel with my backpack. I'd rather spend my money on like excursions and travel, right? Instead of baggage fees and stuff. So so that was really nice that they did the laundry for me. All right, so let's get started. Um, White Star Service, feel welcome from the very first. Good afternoon. Um, there's something rather distinctive about the service on board a canard ship. Uh, guests will recognize it from the very first greeting when they embark. It is a combination of courtesy and confidence that tells guests that they are in the hands of a very professional crew that is made up of individuals who take great pride in making guests stay on board and an unforgettable experience. Guests will hear it in the way their stateroom steward greets them by the name and remembers details about their trip. They will see it in their waiters, impeccable attention to detail. They will feel it in the way they relax the second they step on board. We believe great service is warm and sincere. It is not stuffy, it is not hurry. It is always friendly, but never over familiar. Uh, great service takes its lead from the guests. At Canard, we call it white star service. It is a shining example of how things should be done. So what is white star service? Again, this could be a test question. It's gracious and personal, attentive and friendly, polished and unobtrusive. Guests will see white star service pins worn proudly by our um, all the staff on board, demonstrating their commitment to these standards. All right, so remember that, most likely a test question, exactly. Uh, White Star Service signature. So you, and again, this right here, legendary, elegant, memorable. Okay. 
a legendary association with royalty and high society, most famous ocean liners in the world, and over 175 years of maritime history. Elegant upon embarkation, guests will be greeted by our white-gloved officers and crew. Canard Grill's dining experience, British afternoon tea, formal service style, and then memorable, unique cultural enrichments, gracious officers and crew, and transatlantic liner experience. Cornerstone Statement, the White Star Service Cornerstone Statement guides our crew's understanding of their role in defining each guest experience on board our liners. Each day, one of our guests comes into contact with one of us. Canard's tradition, elegance, and legendary culture are now for us to deliver. In doing this, we will make a memorable, lasting impression. And at that very moment, we are Cunard. Uh, when this impression is good, we have exemplif exemplified the legacy that is Cunard in a manner more meaningful than all of our community and public relations or advertising efforts combined. Uh, the White Star Service cred credo, credo uh, consists of 12 service statements, okay? providing clear outlines for crew members to provide the finest possible experience for our guests. Uh, crew members proudly wear their White Star service pin right there um, and display their service credo cards, reminding all that they are here to serve the needs of our guests. So we smile, we are always in the spotlight. We use correct body language. We are immaculate in our appearance. We support and assist colleagues we respect each other as individuals. We are always positive with guests and colleagues. We are knowledgeable about our ships and services. We exceed our guests' expectations. We maintain formality in our service uh, style. We use proper telephone etiquette. We always speak English in guest areas and we never say no, we offer alternatives. Very nice, right? All right, the core brand. Um, is the ethos behind White Star. We are Canard. It says that we are proud of being a part of something special, famous, and luxurious. We are passionate. The heritage and culture of Canard are now for us to protect and nurture, nurture for the future. To do this, we need to be knowledgeable about our ships and Canard's legacy, which we embrace. We deliver White Star service. We take pride in its legendary, elegant, and memorable ideals and ideals and in integrate them into everything we do. This gives us a unique spirit to serve, which ensures that our guests are at the center of the world. Uh, we strive for excellence, okay? It is our responsibility and our goal to perform to the highest standard on board and ashore. The value contribution of every individual brought together by our enthusiastic teamwork enables us to succeed. We innovate. We take a unique path to keep our liner legacy vibrant and relevant, respectful for our past, yet always evolving to exceed our guest expectations. We are responsible. So our participants, oops, sorry. Um, okay, our participants, um, oops, we're, our reputation for integrity, fairness, and professionalism is our greatest asset. We adhere to the highest ethical standards, always respect the communities and environments in which we operate. And then we are accountable. Results, both financial and non-financial, are at the utmost important to us. But we never forget that the safety and security of our guests and employees is paramount. Shipboard programs. Okay, so these are some of the programs they have. Star of the Month. Uh, Star of the Month program encourages and recognizes select crew members on each ship for providing outstanding service to our guests, as well as to family crew members, fellow crew members. Each ship's uh, Star of the Month receives cash award, an official photograph with the captain, photograph displayed in guest and crew areas, silver Star of the Month pin, personal letter from the president and managing director of Canard. Photograph published on company intranet site. Feature within Canard's loyalty magazine, The Canarder. Notation in employee's personal personnel file. Invitation to observe a White Star Service committee meeting 
invite to dinner with the captain and other star of the month winners every six months. In addition, two crew members are recognized with runner-up awards and six crew members receive honorable, honorable mentions. You have the star of the year. Annually, the onboard White Star Committee will nominate an overall winner from their 12 monthly winners for inclusion in this Cunard Star of the Year Award. Each ship will submit their nomination to the Shoresight Directorate, uh, whereby an overall winner will then be selected. The prize is a two-week voyage of the winner's choice for themselves and their partner, including flight costs and a designated onboard credit or a cash equivalent equivalent in lieu of the voyage should the star of the year prefer and why do i want to go on another cruise i already work it you know six months out of the year anyway they will also receive a professional printed certificate presented to them by the president and managing director and a gold star of the year pin a uh, white star service suggested program all right, so the service suggestion scheme is an opportunity for crew members to generate ideas to enhance the guest experience, as well as process change to save money without affecting the guest experience. Each quarter, the White Star Committee will collect all the service enhancement cards and select one effective proposal and one process change and submit these to the Shoreside com Committee for review. If a suggestion is taken up for implementation, the crew member who has submitted the idea is awarded a cash prize. So that's very nice, right? How about Carnival UK Ship of the Quarter? All right, three quarterly cash awards are made by the Shoreside D Directorate to the ship that, as a whole, has demonstrated outstanding performance. The hotel manager will lead the submission for each vessel and will include examples of how the crew have embraced the company performance principles, high guest questionnaire scores, or indeed any specific event or incident during which the ship has demonstrated excellent customer service. All ships in the Canard fleet are eligible for <laughs> these awards. Hey, 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 come here. All right, Canard U training course. Bum, bum, bum. Crew members can access self-guided computer training courses offering job training or personal skill enhancements, such as appreciate personality differences, time management, data protection, language courses, health, hygiene, and occupational safety courses. Crew members have the opportunity to win cash prizes for high results. Long service awards. Okay, long-term employees get uh, promoted or get um, acknowledged. So long service awards are given to recognize the contribution and loyalty of the employees who have dedicated significant time in their careers on board the Canard ships. The scheme provides rewards to employees upon reaching 5, 10, 20, 30, and even 40 year anniversaries. Wow. Award will be given on the um, employee's first appointment following the anniversary of their company start date. And then a uh, White Star News. A quarterly White Star News film is produced and shown in the crew in stateroom circuit television. Each informative episode is produced by the ship staff. Features include management messages, company developments, White Star achievements amongst the fleet, as well as reenacting examples of White Star service. These various programs encourage crew members to participate in activities which provide a focus on excellent customer service. All right, test time. Okay, so everybody ready? We're going to... All right, so congratulations, everybody. The, what, the answers are posted in the chat. Um, you should now be required one elective to get our first officer rank. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. How about oh, this good. one? 10 to 15 minutes. Let's do a quickie one. The kennels oh, on this, board. Who wants to take their, their animals on board? Does everybody have kennels on board? It's only a 10 to 15 minute training. Make sure everybody has it. It's under electives, okay? Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let us bow, wow, wow, you and pamper your pooch or kitty. Again, that's a test question. 
in the kennels, kennels on board Queen Mary II during transatlantic crossings. The reason I know that it was on the test on Princess, okay? So it's dogs and cats. So we'll learn that. So let's go ahead and get started. Da, 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 da. Thank you guys again for putting the answers out there. We appreciate you guys. Again, team effort, right? Let's do this. By the way, you could just go by the pictures when it's time to answer the questions to know well, which one is which. Thank you. That's very nice of you. All right. And I am Richard today because he's cleaning the backyard for me. <laughs> so I do all my kids and then boyfriends tests. All right. So the kennels. Okay. So you have the Queen Mary II is the only passenger ship in the world to offer dedicated kennels at sea, transporting dogs and cats across the Atlantic on a regular basis. Kennels have always been extremely popular and are sold out within days of going on sale. Queen Mary's uh, two, two's kennel program is overseen by a full-time kennel master who takes care of daily responsibilities, including feeding, walking, and caring for the pets. So facts and figures. The canard kennels accommodate cats or dogs on transatlantic crossings. And again, this is probably a test question to and from Southampton, New York, and Hamburg. So remember that. Kennels are located on deck 12 aft starboard side. There are a total of 24 kennels, 12 upper, small upper, and 12 large lower kennels. Two kennels can also be opened up to form a larger kennel. So my big German shepherd here. Kennels are comprised of separate kennels rooms with 24 individual kennels, Owner's lounge, pet playroom, private outside walking area. Like all canard passengers, canard's kennel guests cruise in the lap of luxury. Their journey includes biscuits at bedtime, turn down, a choice of new beds, blankets, and toys, and Queen Mary um, logoed coat and stainless steel bowl. Wow, that's nice, right? Queen Mary II is also equipped with dog and cat life jackets for their ultimate safety. So here's legal requirements. So eastbound, New York City to SOU. Cat or dog must have been fitted with the microchip, vaccinated against rabies, issued with an official veterinary certificate or official passport. Certificate is only valid for 10 days from the date is signed and stamped from the USDA and needs to be valid when guests embark in New York. Treated against tapeworm, no less than 24 hours or no more than 120 hours before check-in and issued with an official certificate of treatment. Okay, so guys, you gotta get, remember this if you're selling this to your clients and they wanna take their pets. Westbound, cat or dog must have an issued current health certificate. Health certificates show that the dog or cat was examined by a vet within 30 days of entry of the dog or cat into the state of New York. Rabies vaccinated within 12 months to 14 days prior to entry into the state of New York. And if guests plan on re-entering the UK with their pet, they must adhere to the pet travel scheme and a six month probation period is required. And last one, westbound requirements. Ham, um, is that Hampton, uh, Southampton to New York City or Hamburg, Hamburg. Cat or dog must have been fitted with the microchip, vaccinated against rabies, issued with an official veterinary certificate and um, or official pet passport, treated against tapeworm no less than 24 hours or more than 120 hours before check-in, issued with an official certificate of treatment, and all paperwork approved in accordance with the German DEFRA. All right. So home away from home. After Queen Mary II's remastering in June of 2016, Canard's flagship elevated its unique kennel offering even further to incorporate the following new highlights. So click on the ones to see what they did. Home away from home, complete with lamp post and fire hydrant. Uh, with Canard's unique eye for detail and the historic English lamp post, right there, and then uh, fire hydrant were installed on the kennel's deck, so canines both from both sides of the pond will feel comfortable at home. 
The iconic English lamppost was first introduced on the Queen Mary board, the Queen Mary at the suggestion of the Duke of Windsor. And Queen Mary II's lamppost was dedicated Cunard by the city of Liverpool, Cunard's spiritual home. Fire hydrant is an authentic New York City hydrant from the Big Apple, Queen Mary II US home port. Hover over Duke of Duchess to see the hydrant lamppost installed for the dogs. Isn't that cute? How fun is that? All right, how about artwork? Uh, new bespoke posing pooches artwork. Continuing um, Canard's attention to detail and design, artist Karen Catan Opry, daughter of Queen Mary II's Captain Kevin Opry, was commissioned to create a series of posing pooches illustrations featuring lovable canines and felines in iconic scenes around London and New York and aboard Queen Mary II. Karen Catan Opry, uh, has produced eight original works which are displayed in the pet air play area and the owner's lounge um, and also designed new pet name cards for each of the individual kennels. Hover over the artwork to see another fabulous posing pooches illustration. And then creature comforts, a host of creature comforts, uh, new dog beds and blankets for each kennel, improved dog and cat jackets, stainless steel logoed dog bowls, and new toys have all been introduced to the Queen Mary II's kennel offerings. Uh, barber uh, for pets. To ensure the pet passengers are as glamorous as their human counterparts, Canard is partners with the British sportswear brand Barber to offer smart accessories such as jackets, collars, and leashes, all available for purchase. So yeah, they definitely take care of their pets, right? All right, so what you should know. So general information, dogs and cats are the only animals accepted. Uh, animals are not permitted in the guest staterooms or public guest areas. There is no veterinarian on board. A selection of premium dog and cat food is available. Dogs can be walked onto the ship on a lead or brought on board in a kennel. Cats should be brought on board in a kennel. When arriving at check-in, guests must make themselves known as the inquiries desk and the kennel master will be called to collect the pet. All right, next, visiting hours. So visiting hours may vary, but are usually as follows, eight to 10, 11 to 12, 3 to 6, and 8 to 8.30. Guests should check on board for specific hours, as well as the kennel's lounge for owner guests. There is a small, um, there is a pet play area and a dog walking zone. All right, size of the kennel. Okay, so 12 of each type of kennel. The smaller upper is 27 by 35 by 30, 25 pounds or less. Large kennels, 36, 35 by 30, a weight restriction of 26 pounds or more applies. To ensure correct size kennel is booked prior to requesting a kennel with the kennel department, pet measurements and details should be collected as follows. Pet height in inches from floor to shoulder, pet length in inches, tip of the nose to the base of the tail, pet weight in pounds and pet age at time of sailing. All right, I wonder what the age has to do with it. Large breeds, woohoo, look at that one. Due to their natural size, size well, breeds that we can't accommodate. Uh, due to their natural size, some breeds are just too large for kennels and are unable to be carried. The examples are Afghan, Bloodhound, uh, Borzoi, Russian Wolfhound, Breard, uh, Irish Wolfhound, Mastiff, New Newfoundland, Curly Coated Retriever, Gordon Setter, Great Dane, Greyhound, Irish Setter, Deerhound, Doberman, Karanis, Saluki, Bull Mastiff, St. Bernard, Wine Mariner, and Malamu. Oh, so my German Shepherd is okay, right? This is not a complete list, probably not. And there are always exceptions to the rule. If a guest dog breed is on the list, but is small for the breed, we may be able to accommodate them. So it's not just a yes or no. Uh, we are also unable to carry dogs prohibited by the UK pet travel scheme, such as Pitbull Terrier, Japanese Toso Dogo, Argentino, um, Villa Brasilia, or any mix of breed, which includes these breeds. Wow, that's kind of weird, huh? Nairati, yeah. 
All right. And then how do you book it? So please check um, the kennel availability by calling Canard Reservation Department. Okay. The kennel department is open from six to five Pacific time on the weekdays, weekends, six to 245. And they're open seven days a week. If booking outside these hours, you can email kennels at Canard to check availability. He's cute. You can then make the booking as normal while you wait to hear back from the kennel department. If there is no availability, the booking can be canceled free of charge within 48 hours. Payment for the kennel is taken at final payment. Guests calling from the UK can call kennels directly at this number and guests can contact kennels with food or special requests via email or by fax. The kennel department will confirm the charge of the kennel. All right, so our brand story, like all canard guests, our four-legged friends, um, sail in the lap of luxury and are treated to as much personal attention as their owners. So let us bow wow wow you with what's an offer, um, what's on offer on the transatlantic crossing. We are sure that if our dog or cat kennel guests could talk, they would tell us they feel special. Where guests feel special, our famous White Star service, service and attention to detail, which goes above and beyond expectations with one crew member for every two guests. Signature canard experiences. Guests are invited to experience everything from our famous afternoon tea to spectacular gala balls, only on canard. All right, test time again. Everybody ready? Let's go ahead and pause. <laughs> All right, so welcome back. Uh, congratulations on passing. We are now going to be doing Dining by Canard. So go ahead and put your name in here. And this shit ain't no way it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn about all the amazing food they have. So if anything, dine where you just ate. <laughs> Take some. All right, so if anything sums up the freedom of a cruise, it is the array of places to eat from healthy to hearty, light bites to hot um, cuisine. The only challenge for our guests is deciding what to order and, and when so much catches the eye. So you have breakfast, so many ways to start the day. Guests can choose from a hearty English breakfast, continental selection, lighter options such as fruit platter or smoothie, or perhaps an indulgent breakfast in bed. How about lunch? Sophisticated multi-course menus to a more casual self-service lunch, light dishes, traditional British pub favorites. There's a mouth-watering range of options to be enjoyed. And then dinner. We invite guests to immerse themselves in the fine dining, wonderful sense of occasion in their designated restaurant or opt to enjoy a casual buffet meal. Our alternative options give guests the chance to explore globally inspired menus. Dining perfectly matched to the stateroom choice, okay? So the stateroom grade is linked to its dedicated restaurant with four exceptional options to choose from. No matter the choice, again, these will be a test question. No matter the choice, everything is beautifully presented with the real the of the occasion. What? Sorry, I, I forgot I wasn't unmuted. Okay. Um, the table is reserved for a quintessentially canard dining experience, all included in the fare. So they don't pay anything extra. So people staying in the Britannia rooms will have this dining experience. Britannia guest tables reservation will be in the Britannia restaurant where grandeur and occasion combine with exceptional service. Breakfast and lunch always feel special here. Two seatings for dinner at 6 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. Guests typically can have their choice confirmed at time of booking. Click the button to learn more. So you have the Queen Elizabeth. Beautiful. Look at that. Uh, spread over decks two and three at the aft of the ship and elegantly decorated in an Arto, Art Deco style. This beautiful restaurant accommodates all guests booked in the Britannia grade accommodations. Accommodations accommodates 872 Britannia guests. Stop that. Um, on early or late seating. Sorry, my dog's chewing on my cat. <laughs> Qu 
Queen Victoria, spanning decks two and three at the aft of the ship. This restaurant features stunning art deco mural in the center of the dining room, depicting the golden arrow train from the 1930s. And then it accommodates 868 Britannia guests on early or late seating. Again, the number of accommodates um, may be on a test. And then Queen Mary II, uh, Britannia restaurant sure to impress, spanning three decks, but only as two floors provide very grand and spacious atmosphere. Uh, featuring a sweeping staircase for those who like to arrive with a flourish. This one accommodates 1,345 guests on each sitting, early or late. Uh, we're on the dining dining um, portion of the um, required. So it's 15 minutes and it's for dining. All right, so that's the Britannia, okay? Now we're gonna learn about the Britannia Club, okay? Those are probably a little higher priced. Uh, Britannia Club restaurants boasts the same grandeur as the neighboring Britannia restaurant, but with an intimate dining club atmosphere. More tables of two for guests to request. Guests who book Britannia Club accommodations dine here for breakfast and lunch and enjoy dinner in the evening at the time that best, best suits them between 6.30 and 9, okay? So the other one was two, two dining, um, 6.30 and 8, I think, or whatever. This is any time between those hours. Okay, so here's the one on the Queen um, Elizabeth. Britannia Club guests have their same table waiting on um, deck two at the aft of the ship for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they have the same place they're eating each time. Britannia Club Restaurant accommodates 86 guests in the single seating venue. The Victoria. Uh, Britannia Club Restaurant was a welcome addition to the Queen Victoria during 2017 refit and is located uh, aft on deck two. Contemporary and stylish accommodates 86 guests. And then the Queen Mary II, uh, Britannia is located on the rear of the main Britannia dining room on deck two and has an intimate dining club atmosphere while retaining the feeling of grandeur, accommodating 76 guests in a single seating. All right, now you have the Princess Grill. Do, 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 all right, our sophisticated, intimate Princess Grill restaurant serves up excellent cuisine for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a reserved table. Guests are invited to dine whenever it suits them between 6.30 and 9. How beautiful that is. Very nice. Spacious and indulgent on the Queen Elizabeth, the prime midship location on Deck 11. This restaurant accommodates 122 guests. The Grills Courtyard, also available on Queen Elizabeth for Princess Grill guests to enjoy al fresco dining. Okay, so they can do the Princess Grill um, or the Grills Courtyard. <clears throat> All right, Queen Victoria located um, high on deck 11 um, midship. Uh, the Princess Grill restaurant um, accommodates 112 guests. Um, grills guests have the option of eating al fresco, shaded by parasols in the grill's courtyard. And then Queen Mary II. Located at the aft of Deck 7, close to the exclusive grills lounge, Many grills guests meet for pre-dinner drinks, okay? So that's what the Princess Grill accommodates on the Queen Mary. Accommodates 180. All right, someone tell me the order of each course that we've done each. Uh, we've only done, um, I don't know, what was the first one we did? I know we did the kennels and now we're doing the food. The white, uh, white star. White I think star. It is. There it is. White, white star, star, star kennels. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we were on our third one today. All right. So dining perfectly. And then we have, you're welcome, the Queen's Grill. So we just did the Princess Grill. Now we're doing the Queen's Grill. Guests stay at, um, in our Queen's Grill suites, have a table reserved in the world-renowned Queen's Grill restaurant. 
Guests will always be greeted warmly by name and will appreciate the ultimate interpretation of White Star service during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Again, served between these hours. So the Queen's Grill on Queen Elizabeth um, is accommodates 130 guests with the option to dine in the grill's courtyard if uh, in finer climates, okay? So they can eat outside. All Queen's Grill guests have a butler who will prepare canap canapes, canapes and drinks for private parties in their suites. Very nice. Queen Victoria, situated high on deck 11 with a commanding views from the floor to the ceiling windows right here. Queen's Grill restaurant accommodates 130 guests. Um, all Queen's Grill guests have the option to have course by course dining served in their suite from the Queen's Grill dinner menu. Okay, so they can eat in their room if they want. And then Queen Mary II um, restaurant located the aft of Deck 8, rated as the finest at sea by Burlet's Guide. It accommodates 204 guests, all Queen's Grill Guests have the option to order off the menu, give the chef 24 hour notice and they will be impressed with what is served. So they can have a butler and they get the service too. All right, so you guys got those? I hope so, because I don't remember them all. All right, how about the veranda? Canard's signature fine dining restaurant, the veranda can be found on each of our three queens open every evening for dinner and each sea day for an extra special lunch. This elegant venue is very popular. We recommend guests make reservations early via the Voyage Personalizer. Cover charge applies. A new menu is featured at Steakhouse at the Veranda and is includes a range of cuisine focused on the food from both sides of the Atlantic. Guests have the opportunity to choose from prime New York strip steaks and main lobsters to British dishes such as scotch, uh, grass-fed, dry-aged beef, and salt marsh lamb wrap. Inspired by elements of the legendary Veranda Grill restaurant interior on board the original Queen Mary, the artwork in each restaurant pays homage to the original murals that were created by legendary theatrical designer and artist Doris Zinkeisen in the 1930s, influenced by the circus and theater. All right, click here for a short video. Let me make sure my sound's on. The concept of the Veranda Restaurant is very much based on quality of products, influence from both sides of the Atlantic. Derricochet steaks, they are the creme de la creme. The meat is seared to perfection. These are the ultimate premium steak that we serve in Veranda. The freedom air is theatre in itself. This is a cornucopia of seafood. The cocktail menu in the veranda has been inspired by our legendary transatlantic itinerary, and it's really the best qualities of the American and the British cocktail scene. All right. Um, so casual dining, the buffet restaurant is the perfect place for a relaxed, casual self-service meal from breakfast, lunch, and on to dinner, all included in the fare. Onboard Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, the self-serve buffet is at the Lido. On board Queen Mary's too. It is found at King's Court. Table service is also available with floor to ceiling windows. It is perfect place to dine in a relaxed atmosphere while soaking in the views. Hours of operations, varied hours are sure to suit one's appetite. Continental breakfast, four to six. Full breakfast, 6.30 to 11.30. Lunch, 11.30 to three. Afternoon snacks, three to 5.30. Dinner buffet, 5.30 to 11. And late snack, 11 to 2 a.m. Alternative dining. All right, so a selection of both the Lido restaurants and King Court transforms into unique dining experiences uh, where global cuisine can be enjoyed each evening. Guests can choose from one of five alternating themed menus. Delicious Mexican cuisine in Aztec. Authentic Indian dishes at Coriander. Hearty Italian fare at La Piazza. Bamboo offering Pan-Asian fusion dining. Smokehouse offers an exciting American-influenced menu. 
open each evening for a different theme on a rotating basis with full waiter service. Dining seven to nine, bookable when on board, cover charge does apply. Okay. I think it's been recording me. <laughs> All right, Corinthia Lounge. Um, on board the Queen Mary II is a perfect spot to sit and relax. This is a great um, uh, place to catch up with friends or the venue to enjoy a good book. Food is served during the day with tea, coffee, fine wine by the glass. The Corintha Lounge is a peaceful place for a selection of light, tasty dishes, tapas, and delectable desserts available at no extra charge from the lunch menu. It is also a relaxed venue serving Illy coffee, fruit, juices, smoothies, and pastries for breakfast. The Golden Lion Pub. Okay, so remember these. The Golden Lion is a traditional English pub serving great food and drinks. Guests are sure to be delighted by the traditional pub lunch uh, served daily at no additional charge. Classics like fish and chips, cottage pie, bangers, and mash are served and are included in the fare. Open for lunch 12 to 3 on Queen Mary II and from 12 to 2.30 on Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. Why is it called the Golden Lion Not another and not another traditional British pub name such as Red Lion or Queen Vic? Take a look at the Canard Crest. Okay. Afternoon tea. This was always fun on the princess one. Um, so afternoon tea is timeless British experience served by Canard for many years on some of the world's greatest ocean liners. So you have traditional here. Traditional afternoon tea, signature Canard experience of twinning spine leaf teas, finger sandwiches, pastries, and scones as the orchestra provides a mel melodic backdrop served daily from 3 to 4.30 except embarkation day. And it is included in the fair and served in the Queen's room. You have the lion's share, uh, promises a hearty afternoon tea selection accompanied by a flight of beers uh, from savory bites such as pulled pork and pineapple burgers, scotch eggs, Lincolnshire sausage rolls and relishes to tasty scones, shortbread and chocolate and Guinness cake. It will be thoroughly satisfying experience. Cover charge does apply. So they charge extra for that served in the Golden Lion Pub. Now you have champagne afternoon tea. Uh, champagne afternoon tea has been enhanced further to create an especially decadent afternoon treat. Expect savory bites such as feta and mushroom phyllo tart, delightful individual desserts, including passion fruit and mango choke, all accompanied by a glass of Laurent Perrier champagne. Cover charge does apply. And this is served in the Veranda restaurant. And then who doesn't love chocolates? Godiva. Available on Queen Mary II every sea day. This truly out of the ordinary indulgent treat for two includes two Godiva signature cakes. Godiva white chocolate, key lime scone served with lime marmalade and clotted cream accompanied by a premium tea, forte tea, and Godiva pralines. Cover charge does apply. This is served in the Sir Samuel's wine bar. So the wine bar serves the chocolate, champagne, and, and the lion's share does the beer uh, flight, and they're all additional. All right. Um, Justin, as you have the three food to start to. All right, so other dining options. So special dietary requests. Daily menus include a healthy spa-inspired selection. There's also an extensive vegetarian, vegan, or fish menu to choose from each evening for the following evening. With prior notification, kosher, uh, diabetic, lactose intolerant, or gluten-free regimens, as well as other special diets can be accommodated. These special dietary requests can, um, are easily requested through Polar Online. You have room service. Guests uh, can order from the selection of favorite dishes delivered to their stateroom available 24 hours a day and included in the fare. Late night buffet available in the later hours of the night. The buffet at the Lido and Kings Court offers a selection of all-time favorite snacks included in the fare. 
breakfast in bed for the ultimate indulgence. Guests can order from the in-room breakfast menu included in the fair and just perfect for those lazy mornings. Main <clears throat> dining room summary. The state room, oops, uh, the state room grade booked determines in which dedicated restaurant guests dine, okay? Guests have the same table with the same waiters, sommeliers, and table guests each evening for dinner, giving the perfect opportunity to make new friends with both staff and fellow guests. Guests cannot pay to dine in alternative main restaurants, so they can't pay to dine in the Princess Grove when booked in Britannia. So they're not very flexible in that aspect. Take care when booking groups of friends and families in different accommodation grades as they will be assigned different main restaurants for dinner. Although they can always choose an alternative dining venue to dine together, okay? But the main dining rooms, they have to be together, okay? Um, the evening dress code will be required to be worn when dining in the main restaurants. Guests who are welcome to dress casually for dinner in the King's Court or the Lido Buffet. Uh, Britannia guests will have their dining seating choice confirmed at time of booking subject to availability. And um, Britannia guests traveling in a group can be seated together when you make the bookings. Add a TWID code, T-W-I-D code, to let the ship know and they will be seated together if the same dining time has been chosen for all in the party. Perfect for guests when traveling in a group. Okay, you're all right, hush up. Yeah. So our brand story, the dining experience is such a huge part of the um, enjoyment of a cruise. The different styles of dining venue match the variety of cuisines available on board. There's a mouth-watering range of options to be enjoyed, all delivered with impeccable white star service. If guests put on a pound or two during their cruise, we can think of no better excuse than the chance to try something new and delicious with so many irresistible, tempting options on board a Canard um, Queen. Shh, you're all right. Uh, with so many dining choices on board, our guests tell us they truly value the freedom this gives them. So enjoy the freedom to do what you want when you want. Escape, escape to uncrowded spaces. Canard ships offer more space for guests than other ships of similar size. Freedom of choice. Opportunity to dress up and dine in style or relax in a more casual surroundings. And then time for you. Um, so remember, I think this is a test question too, the freedom. Um, guests can enjoy the view, relax with a book, or learn to taste wine, mix cocktails, paint, or dance. It's entirely their choice, and it's only on Cunard. All right, so One Source Travel Agent uh, Center, dedicated travel agent portal, contains everything you need to learn, sell, and book Cunard voyages. Take a look and explore for yourself. So you have the user guides, which is step-by-step -step guide on how to make and modify the bookings. Um, online training videos, short videos that guide and make um, make the bookings modifications using the system. Brand resources, learn about the Canard brand. Destination marketing tools, selection of PDFs, which provide you with information on a Canard voyages to help you sell them. Sales programs, learn about the most recent campaigns, policies, and marketing tools. Asset bank, um, access to Canard visuals and videos. Canard deals, latest fairs, weekly focuses, limited time promotions, and um, order brochures and more, pre-printed brochures, postcards, letterhead, posters, destination overview, pamphlets, and more. Again, each of our vendors, guys, has promotional um, material for you to use. Okay? All right, test time. Okay, so... With me, if I decide not to do it on my phone and do it later, I just need to know which course to take to match up to the screen. Just take a screenshot here. These are all the ones that we've done so far. Welcome back, guys. So just take a screenshot. These are all the ones that we've done so far. And then we're going to now do the accommodations. Okay. Okay, so these are the ones we've completed. And then again, most of the answers are in the chat. So I would try to take a screenshot of the chats and then that way you'll have the answers. You're all right. 
All right, so we'll do one more for today, the Queen Anne accommodations. And then hopefully once you catch up and get your first officer rank, maybe it'll show up. I'm not sure. Um, we'll, we, we'll follow up next week when everybody's caught back up again and then see where we're at. But hopefully everybody will be at four electives next week um, that we can get through quickly. You're all right. All right, so we're going to be going over the accommodations. By the end of this course, you'll be able to understand the variety of spacious state rooms and suites on board the Queen Anne. Describe the fleet categorization scheme and understand the amenities that each class of the state room provides. Okay. World-class comfort. Every suite and stateroom provides a personal oasis of calm. With luxurious flourishes enhanced by stylish decor, every day on Queen Anne offers a chance to sail the world in unparalleled comfort. Rest easy, safe in the knowledge that the finer details have been taken care of. From a welcome drink to help ease your clients into their voyage to sumptuous cotton sheets, soft bathrobes, and a nightly turndown service. There are canard, canard signature touches in each suite or stateroom ready to usher guests into a world of indulgence and unadulterated relaxation. Guests can feel a sense of ease and be comforted knowing that at any time of day, they can return to their exquisite accommodation to settle in and relax. Whether it's time to pick up the vacation read, relax in bed with a movie, or curate a personalized cocktail, each private address at sea awaits. So you have the benefits. Canard boasts some of the most spacious staterooms at sea. Each one comes with a myriad of services, features, and amenities for guests to enjoy. These include, okay, so pay attention. This is what's included in each stateroom. Welcome aboard drink, 24-hour complimentary room service, 42-inch satellite TV, nightly turndown service with chocolate, with chocolate, got that, tea and coffee making facility, direct dial telephone, refrigerator, hair dryer, safe, daily shipboard programs, British, US, and EU sockets, USB sockets, charging socket in the bathroom, Bathrobe and slippers, spacious bathroom with large, low-level walk-in shower with privacy screen, and penhaligons toiletries. <clears throat> it's all about choice. So whatever their preference, there's a suite or stateroom on board the Queen Anne, which is just right for them. There's a choice of Britannia, Britannia and Britannia Club staterooms, and then the Princess Grill and Queen's Grill suites. Click the images. So this is the Britannia state rooms. Click on the live information zones. Okay, luxury. The wall behind the king size bed is soft padded, um, padded headboard for the ultimate feel. Location. They're located on the forward midship and aft. Decks 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and grades IF, IE, ID, IC, IB, IA. USB and reading light. The bedside lamp has convenient USB charging port. An additional discreet reading light ensures that no one will be disturbed with the late night read. Design features. Canard iconic status heritage is celebrated with bespoke wallpaper inspired by Canard's um, unique quest crest. And then the floor plan here, okay? Next. This uh, Britannia State Room Ocean View. So location, forward midship app, one and nine, EF, e, 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 C, and deluxe ocean view midship, deck one, EA. Designed to perfection, positioned to offer sea views. Our Ocean View State Rooms provide a private enclave, enclave to watch the world go by. Calming blue tones, Warm wooden furnishings and perfectly framed views are the backdrop to thoughtful features and luxurious amenities, all organized by the guest dedicated steward to ensure that they are always attentively looked after. Ocean View Deluxe Staterooms will have the luxury of a bathtub as well as their in, invigatory, in, invigorating shower. All right, so Ocean Views have a bathtub, okay? They have a lounge area with a comfortable sofa, table, ah, 
and desk with tea uh, and coffee making facility. And then the two, um, oop, the two breakdowns. All right, there you go. All right, and then a balcony room. So you have the sparkling views. Guests on board can drink in sparkling sea views from their own private outdoor space in one of our balcony state rooms. Complimentary robes and slippers, tea and coffee service, and the option for a special breakfast in bed. Your clients can take advantage of leisurely um, mornings relaxing in their stateroom or on their spacious balcony. Dining. Our Britannia main restaurant invites guests to dine on a wide variety of dishes in effortless style and comfort. Location, forward, midship, aft, decks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, BC, or BF, B, E, B, D, B, C, B, B. Obstructed balcony is on midship, deck four, grades D, C, and D, B. The Sealy Canarder uh, bed is configurable to king size or to single beds. And then here is the floor plan. So nice little balcony there for them. All right, the club balcony. So again, balcony guests will enjoy high motion views from their own private outdoor space in one of the Britannia Club balcony staterooms. Calming blue tones, warm wooden furnishings are the backdrop. Two thoughtful features, luxurious amenities and benefits, all organized by their dedicated steward to ensure they are always attentively looked after. Exclusivity. Your clients will have ac enjoy access to the intimate, exclusive Britannia Club restaurant with reserved table throughout their voyage, plus specialty teas and coffees. Pillow concierge menu, variety of types to choose from. The floor plan here, nice balcony, nice room. And then the location that's forward, midship, aft. Decks five, six, and seven, grades A2 and A1. All right, Princess Grill Suites. All right, so again, reverse angle of the suite. So nice big room. Exclusivity, again, they will only have access to the Princess Grill restaurant where they can dine anytime at their reserved table or they may dine in suite um, from their exquisite <laughs> Princess Grill menu. There's the floor plan with the nice balcony, pretty big room. Look at that, nice table. Uh, guests will delight in a prime central location sea views that can be enjoyed by both in and outside their Princess Real Suite. Sumptuous red and gold tones, wooden, warm wooden furnishings highlight the impeccable design of each suite. And the location is midship decks four, five, six, seven, eight, grades P2 and P1. And then the Queen's Grill Suites. Attentive butler. Okay, so the Queen's Girl, they get a butler and steward is on hand at all times. Truly customize your client's voyage experience and keep the suite in fine order day and night. Uh, the retreat to an exclusive world of luxury with your own private residence at sea. Spacious lounge area with seating, large bathroom with bathtub and walk-in shower. Expansive private balcony. Queen Suite offers the same luxury that guests receive in any of our Queen's Grills. Location is forward and aft, decks four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it's Q6 and Q5. And then there is the floor plan. All right, how about the penthouse suite? Let's check that out. Luxury, space to relax, dine, entertain. The penthouse suite will suit your clients' needs any time of the day. Exclusivity. Guests can dine anytime in the Queen's Grill restaurant at the reserved table. The location is forward and aft, 4567, Q4, and Q3. And then there is the floor plan of the penthouse suite. And the master suite. 
So there's your floor plan. Wow, look at that. That's huge. Huge. Luxury guests will get ready for the day and evening out in the sumptuous marble bathroom of their master suite, followed by can canops, canops, canapes, canapes, served in the spacious living area by their personal butler. Uh, Princess and Queen's Grill Suite guests can enjoy the exclusive access to the outdoor grills terrace. Beautiful. And it's located on the midship, decks five and seven, Q2. And then you have the grand suite. A uh, suite includes butler's pantry, a reception hall that leads to the spacious great room, floor to ceiling windows, perfect for entertaining. Separate room is customizable as dining room or guest bedroom. Luxury, wow, look at that tub. Spacious marble bathroom, separate walk-in shower, bathtub with inviting views of the ocean. It's located midship, <coughs> deck six, Q1. There is a floor plan. 1,400 square feet. Wow, huge. Each space's grand suite has been designed to the highest standard of luxury and it epitomizes the ultimate in refined accommodations. I bet that costs a pretty penny, huh? Accessible staterooms. So Queen Anne welcomes guests with disabilities and reduced mobility, and we aim to make their stay as relaxing and comfortable as possible. So hover over the image to learn more. Accessible stateroom bathrooms are wet room style shower rooms with the fl flush threshold in the state into the stateroom. They have roll-in showers that have handrails and pull-down shower seats. There are also grab rails on both sides of the toilet. One is fixed and the other is a pull-down. All of our accessible staterooms feature wide doorways into the stateroom and bathroom, as well as sufficient floor space for wheelchair maneuverability. And then all, did he fix the thing yet? All assess, are you going to get the backyard then? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All accessibility, uh, accessible balcony staterooms feature ramp access to the balcony. All right, navigating the deck plans. Okay, so canard decks are all numbers, no letters. Okay, so remember that. The higher the number, the higher the deck. All stateroom numbers start with the deck they are on. So deck 10 would be 10, 280. Deck seven, seven there, okay. All even numbers are on the port side. Okay, remember that. Left side of the ship, all odd numbers are on the starboard, which is the right side. Okay, star, right, right side. Handy hint, I remember which side is which because the words even, port, and left all have four letters. Even, port, and left. Okay, front of the ship is forward, middle is midship, and the back is aft. Stateroom and suite numbers run consecutively from the forward to the aft of the ship. Example 7002 is the first stateroom on deck seven and is next to 704, then 706, and so on towards the aft. Remember the inside numbers also run consecutively. 7105 is next to 7107 as 7109 is inside the opposite, stateroom opposite. Handy hint, if in doubt, have your canard brochure close at hand. All right, accommodation grades, okay? So all grades are made up of two characters. This is consistent throughout the fleet to make it even simpler. The ships are segmented into five sections vertically, aft, mid-aft, mid, mid-forward, mid and forward. Two sections horizontally, high and low, with the promenade deck being the divider. The first letter indicates the stateroom type. Queen's Grill is a Q, Princess Grill, P. Britannia Club is an A, balcony, B, D, obstructed balcony. Ocean View, Ocean View Deluxe is an E. Inside, standard inside is an I. Second letter indicates the stateroom location on the ship as shown above, with A being the most favorable position. Grill suites and Britannia club staterooms are graded numerically, one being the highest grade. 
Britannia examples, high midship balcony, BB. Forward balcony, BF. Midship, IA, IB. Inside. Uh, Britannia club and grill suite examples, Queens grill suites, Q1 to Q7. Princess, P1 and 2. And Britannia club, A1 and A2. You guys got that? I'm sure it's going to be a test question. Deck plan and symbols. So to help you locate the perfect stateroom, the different grades all have different colors. The deck number and location on the ship are shown and whether it is a high or low deck. Most stable part of the ship is midship and may be considered the best location for those new to cruise. For the best view, a high deck is always recommended. The key to symbols are shown to help you inform and assist your client's choices, such as wheelchair accessible, Third berth is a sofa bed and obstructed views and many more, okay? So go ahead and look at all those uh, codes, uh, third and fourth berth. Um, the plus sign indicates third berth is a single sofa bed. Um, connecting rooms indicate alternative layout. State rooms have forward facing ocean. Uh, state rooms, partial metal fronted balconies and so on, okay? In summary, there's a wealth of accommodations choice on the board, the Queen Anne. Britannia Experience offers comfort and style with a single inside Ocean View balcony and Britannia Club balcony staterooms. Um, the grills offer the ultimate travel experience for guests who book Princess Grill or Queen's Grill Suites. Britannia Experience making up 87.5% of our guests on board with welcoming added extras as standard sparkling or sparking wine on arrival, bathrobe and slippers, daily turn down service with chocolate on the pillow, 24 hour room service included in the fair, surely per, uh, is a perfect introduction to canard for newcomers. Britannia Club. Um, state rooms feature spacious private balcony, private locate prime locations. Club guests also benefit from the option to dine when they choose in the intimate atmosphere of the Britannia Club restaurant. Princess Grills. The Grills experience makes up just 12.5% of guests on board. The Princess Grill experience invites guests to savor enhanced levels of comfort and service at sea with larger, beautifully appointed rooms, all in prime locations with private balconies. And then the Queen's Grill, what can we say? Traveling in Canards, Queen's Grill Suites takes everything our guests love about Canard to the highest level of luxury. Click here for stateroom amenities. So again, it'll take you in another program. You can print this out, keep it handy for um, you know future reference to be able to see what's included in each one. Okay. All right. Let me see where I'm at. So our brand story, our four magnificent ships visit the, visit the finest destinations in the world and guarantee our ships total relaxation with their incomparable facilities and white star service. Every Canard cruise has true sense of occasion. With Canard, there's always wealth of choice with accommodation options for travelers. From stylish inside state rooms to generously proportioned balconies, spacious on both the inside and outside, uh, through, though to um, through to the ultimate travel experience, a Canards Grill Suite. There is sure to be something to suit every taste. With so much choice on board, our guests tell us they really enjoy the freedom. And what's the freedom and consist of? Again, escape to uncrowded spaces, offers more space per guest than any other ship of similar size. Freedom of choice to dress up, dine in style, or relax in casual surroundings. And then time for you to relax, enjoy a, a book, enjoy the view, learn to taste wine, mix cocktails, paint or dance. It's entirely your choice, only on Canard. Congratulations, Richard. You have now completed Queen Anne accommodations and you should be able to understand the variety of stateroom suites aboard the Queen Anne, describe the fleet categorization scheme and understand the amenities each classroom state room provides. When you're ready for your first question, click here. All right, let's do this. Last one, folks. Sunday. Same time, same place, exactly. Congratulations, everybody. Um, 
Have an amazing Memorial Weekend. And if you want to join me for Caribbean training on Wednesday, 10 a.m., we'll see you there, same place. And then otherwise, we'll see you next Sunday, and we'll start on the four electives. So again, congratulations. Anybody else here need to help with their test? Otherwise, I'll close this out. Yes, I do. Okay. I do. I, I need to screen, I need to screenshot um some of the rest of these answers. All right. I'm just running a little bit behind I'm trying to park no so I can get it done. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording and then I'll put this on my